Okay, so on this one, you want it's basically asking you about the equations, so make sure you write them down because it makes your life easier. So energy and wavelength equals some constant. We don't really care what those numbers are. It's C, H, but it doesn't matter. And the other one is C is equal to velocity. I converted the Hertz ones in roughly into um, wavelength just so that it was easier on my life. This is 10 to the, of a second approximately, and this is 10 to the 14th. All you have to do to think about that is you have 10 to the 8th over some wavelength is equal to 10 to the 6th. Obviously, the difference is 2. Um, here is 10 to the 22nd, it's 14. Um, now, then negative. This one's negative. That's eh, negative, Kaylin. Anyway, the what you have to do now is put it from most to least. So if we look at this equation, the smallest wavelength is going to give us the highest energy. Well, this is the smallest wavelength. So 10 to the 22nd hertz is the first one, or 10 to the negative 14th meters. Um, and then the next one is 10 to the negative 10th meters. And then we have 10 to the negative 6 meters. And then 10 to the 2nd meters, or 10 to the 6th hertz. And the last one is 10 to the 6th meters. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4.